In this video I'll be showing how to remove a game disc from an Xbox 360 that does not turn on or has some sort of motherboard issues. I've got the power and the AV leads connected. As you can see I'm pressing the buttons, it does not turn on anymore. However we have a game disc stuck in the DVD drive and we want to remove the game disc only. Okay, in order to remove the game disc uh, we need to open up the Xbox 360, uh, we'll take out the DVD drive and we'll power our DVD drive using executor tools and remove the game disk. Let's get going. These are the tools required in order to open up your Xbox 360 FAT model. Torx T8 screwdriver or screw bit, Torx T10 screw bit or screwdriver, small Phillips flathead screwdriver or microtrend precision screwdriver. And we'll be using Xbox 360 FAT opening toolkit. This helps in opening up the clips on the rear side of the console. Let's open up your Xbox 360. Uh, step 1, remove the hard drive. So there's a button here, simply push it down and you can lift the hard drive off. Next, uh, we'll be removing the faceplate. Uh, all you gotta do is just uh, put your fingers in there and pull it outwards and this comes off. Next uh, we'll be removing uh, this grill here so grab your micro turn uh, precision screwdriver. All we gotta do here is simply um, there are clips that we just need to unclip it. So. There's a bit of a guesswork, so and the last one is here. Okay, so this comes off. Next, um, you can simply pull it up from this side, and again, there are uh, four other clips that's holding the grill. So simply okay so that's off the other side okay so this comes off Next, uh, we'll be removing the bottom half. Okay, so grab your Xbox 360 unlock tool set and place it in here. And simply push it, push it, and there you go. So this side is off. Grab the other uh, unlock tool set and uh, follow the same on the other side as well. So simply push it and this is separated. So this comes off. Next, uh, grab your micro turn precision screwdriver and simply uh, there are these one, two, three, four clips here. So simply just lift them up. And the last one is here. Okay, now we are able to separate the bottom cover. So this comes off. Next, uh, remove the eject button. So all you gotta do is just. So this comes off. Um, next. In order to separate the top half, we have to take out the four Torx T10 screws. So there are six long, sorry, six long Torx uh, T10 screws. So simply take them off. Um, now we are able to simply uh, lift off our top cover. So all you gotta do is lift it up. So this comes off. Next, uh, let's remove the DVD drive. 
So grab your micro trend precision screwdriver. All you gotta do is just take the solder cable off, take that off, and if there's any sticker um, here, simply take that off as well. And check out the DVD drive. Uh, remove the power cable, and our DVD drive is separated. Once we have our DVD drive removed, in order to remove the game disc, uh, we'll be using Executor CK3 Mini uh, toolkit to supply a power source to our DVD drive. And in order to power our CK3 kit, uh, we'll be using external Molex power source, along with the Australian version of the power cord. Just a quick note, uh, CK3 Mini does have a uh, Molex to USB power cable, however that only supplies 5 volt. In order to eject the DVD drive we need 12 volts, that's where we'll be using external Molex power source. Okay, let's set it up. Uh, let's connect our power cable first. Into the CK3 Mini. Next, connect the power cable. Simply match the uh, pattern of the power cable with the connector. And slide it in. Next, connect your floppy to Molex uh, adapter. And finally, connect our uh, Molex power source. Turn your CK3 on. Press the check button. And that's our game disc removed. Next, let's place our drive back into the Xbox 360. So connect the power cable and then connect the solder cable. Next, place your top. Next, uh, we'll be placing the eject button. So simply do a quick test, see if it's functioning. Next, we'll be placing the six Torx screws. Next, let's place the bottom cover. Next, let's place our um, fan grills here. So simply align it. Place the other one as well. Next, connect your hard drive. Next, place your faceplate. That's it, all done. Thanks for watching the videos, please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.